So you clicked on this video because you have high ping. You know, definitely sucks to be you. But today, I'm going to be helping you fix that. I can guarantee you'll be leaving this video with lower ping, lower latency, and increased internet speeds. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe if it helps. And let's just get straight into it. So the first reason, I'm going to go through the reasons first. And make sure you listen to all of these because it could be any of them or even multiple of them. And then I'm going to give you some fixes on how to, you know, work around these or just solve them entirely. I recommend you also follow all them fixes. So the first reason would be poor or unstable internet connection. Now, I know this sounds very obvious, but this could be weak Wi-Fi signal. So being too far from your router or dealing with interference or limited bandwidth. So if the network is shared or busy with large downloads, streaming, uploads, whatever it may be, just general, you know, use from other members of your household, this could cause problems. Now, the second thing could be ISP routing issues or routing issues, sorry. This could be congested routes. So sometimes your internet, your ISP, your internet service provider, that's what that means, by the way. I really only found this out recently. I'm very silly. But it could take a busy path to the game servers, which means it's just, it's going all over the place before it goes to your game servers and connects you to the region and it's just not putting you on the closest sub-server. And we'll get more into that. Don't you worry. Um, it could also be poor peering. So if your ISP, your internet service, provider has suboptimal agreements, quote unquote suboptimal agreements, or connections with the game server network, your ping could spike. I know this sounds very complicated, but trust me, we will get more into it and I'll describe what all these things are. Again, I'm just outlining the reasons it could be any of these. This is going to help you diagnose the issue, but the fixes that will come later. And you could also just, you know, leave and Go and find them yourself. I'm the plug, okay? I'm the plug. Moving on, the next thing could be server distance or just a region mismatch. So that could be, you know, your geographical location. Connecting to a server that's, you know, further away from where you live could, you know, physically increase latency. But for the most part, most of you live somewhere where there is a close enough server to connect to. Fortnite has, like, many sub-servers. But who knows? Maybe you're far from the sub-server and you live in an unfortunate location and that's your issue. There are still things you can do, but you are a little bit limited in that case. Or maybe it's simply the wrong server region. So Fortnite, for example, it can, it can go for any game. It may auto select a region that isn't closer to you. And there are ways to fix this. The next reason for high ping could be firewall or antivirus interference. So your Windows Defender or maybe you use something external like Malwarebytes or Norton or I don't know, whatever it may be. That may be, you know, doing too much. Literally, it may be doing too much and that can slow down or inspect packets which add to latency. VPN or proxy usage. If you're using a VPN or a proxy server, whatever that may be, this basically creates, you know, extra jumps and hops for your, you know, connection. So your data travels for a longer route and then it results in high ping. So if you're using a VPN or anything like that, just turn it off. That's your fix for that one. I don't really need to go into that too much. It could also actually be background programs which consume bandwidth. A lot of people don't really think about this one, but yeah, your background applications are things that are running, you know, as you're playing your game, even if it's something as simple as a Windows update, OneDrive, I don't know, the Microsoft Store, right? Even if you're not doing an update, Steam, whatever it is, this hogs bandwidth. Could even be as simple as something on a different device. You may Maybe you've got your YouTube tab open or, I don't know, Google Chrome's open on your phone, even Safari, and you haven't closed it and that's using some bandwidth. And obviously, in this case, just to clarify this, you know, watching YouTube or Netflix, whatever that may be, it's going to cause a problem. Some people like to listen to music while they, you know, play their game or their brain rot and they're watching TikTok while they're cranking in Fortnite. It's going to cause a problem. Don't complain about your ping if you're watching TikTok. And finally, before we get into the fixes, it could be your network hardware or even cable issues. So if you have an Ethernet cable, some damage or even just outdated cables may lead to packet loss and unstable ping. Or maybe something that is a little bit more out of your control. You could have an old router or modem. So your parents may just have outdated Dated, you know, network gear that can't handle modern day speeds and in turn, that's why you have bad ping. But if you're not on an Ethernet cable, don't complain about the router. Like figure that one out first and then worry about, you know, asking your parents to upgrade their internet package or, or you know, however you want to go about that. Oh, and also server side problems do exist. So the game server, you know, Fortnite may be experiencing some issues, you know, in terms of their servers. Very rare though. You can't always put your ping down to that. And also, you know, scheduled maintenance. So, you know, again, servers may be partly down or under maintenance. But again, if this is something consistent, this isn't the case. You can't blame Fortnite, you know? Okay, so now getting into all the fixes, as I promised you guys. Firstly, you want to optimize your network settings. So use a wired connection. So an Ethernet, as I already mentioned, if you're not already. Or if 
if you can't do this, just try your best to position either your setup or the router closer to your setup if you must use Wi-Fi. And most people don't mention this, but keep it away from walls or other electronics. So again, don't have it like literally on top of your PC that could cause issues. And just any other electronics, just generally have it in a central location and just don't have anything too close to it that is electronic. So I'm trying to get it. This can cause, an, you know, interference and it's going to, you know, affect your ping. You can also update your router and firmware or your router firmware. So this is a little more complicated, but if you can get your IP address, I think you can just search in like my IP address on a Google browser. Obviously do this. Make sure no one else sees this. So you don't want to be giving this to anyone or internet safety tip. But yeah, if you do that and you actually go into a browser, right? Copy your IP address, paste it in Google Chrome, right? In the search bar and press enter. This will take you to or should take you to your router's admin page. There may be a password for that, or it may just be like a default password. Just You'll have to figure that one out. But here you can maybe do even firmware updates. There may be an update on your router that is causing problems. After doing this update, you can power cycle. So turn off and on your router or modem, just unplug it, plug it back in. And this can actually help. Now moving on, the next fix. You know, I mentioned those background apps. Yeah, get rid of them. If I remember the shortcut correctly, you can press control shift escape on your keyboard. Make sure you're like, you know, just on your desktop and it should open the task manager. If not, just press a windows key and type in task manager. Go to your task manager, okay? And check what's consuming your network. There is a little option for this and go down anything that's using a lot of memory, a lot of bandwidth, just end task, right click it, end task. Go to your startup apps, get rid of anything you don't need. And yeah, just make sure nothing's in the background. Try and lower those processes. And in turn, the lower, you know, CPU usage, the lower processes you have, usually that means the lower or better ping you have. Moving on swiftly, check your game server region. I know this is kind of common sense. We went over this, but yeah, matchmaking region, make sure it's at the closest location to you. And don't set it to auto. A lot of people set it to auto. Don't do that. Set it directly to the region. So if you're in Europe, put it on Europe. If you're in the Middle East, put on Middle East. Don't use auto. So many people do this, but the auto detection can pick up a less optimal server and maybe connect you to that. Or even if it does put you on like, again, let's say you're in Europe, it puts you on Europe. It may put you on the wrong sub server. It's just, it's just better to be safe than sorry. And last but not least, I think this is last. I can't think of anything. A lot of these are coming off the top of my head, but disable firewall or Windows Defender or whatever antivirus, just temporarily. Just disable it temporarily. Don't download anything in the meantime while you're doing this. Try not to access the web too much. Just that, just disable it and try your game. Just have a look. There's a chance that this may be, you know, the, the culprit. This may be the thing that's causing problems. And if your ping improves, just tweak your security settings a bit or at least add exceptions, which you can do. So, it, you know, whitelists Fortnite. So it isn't running in the background while Fortnite's running. And this could help. But again, be careful with this one. I don't want anyone getting a virus and forgetting they've disabled it. Oh, and I almost forgot, but we kind of touched on this lightly, but yeah, VPN, proxies, anything like that, get rid of them. If you're going to use a VPN, you really want to use a VPN. There's gaming, you know, quote unquote gaming optimized VPNs, but still, I wouldn't really recommend them. You don't want to, you know, be using a VPN while gaming. It's just not necessarily needed for most games, like at least not for Fortnite. But if you are going to use one, just turn it off when you're playing, you know, Fortnite. Oh, and speak to your parents, you know, maybe your parents are like, oh, no, we have really good internet. But if that's the case and you're getting bad ping, you may just need to actually like contact your ISP. So get your parents to ring up or you can ring up yourself, phone the, you know, the people that you, you know, if you're on, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a uh, American internet brand. I, you know, we have stuff like Sky Broadband in the UK or Verizon. Verizon, I think that's one. I think that's one in the US, Verizon. Ring them up, say, hello, guys, we're paying for like this internet package and we're getting bad performance and they can do optimizations for you, literally. And if you're still having issues after following everything, in this video, I have multiple other videos which go into, you know, essentially more detailed things. So go and check them out my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out and may peace be upon you.